namo allaye ke namo dan de jine ke tum ta me ke nam tam do wa kunje da ke je tam ba tam je ke do da ge chu tun to da cha ke tam ba nyam me tu be wa me sab je do ma me ba go ve rab de 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 go sun ke ba che Chancellor Jepsu Chiu, Daja, Ki, Paden Lama, Rida, Jimbrijan, Chabda, Garden, Tsumba, maybe, Dajambo, Chu, K, Shabjidu, Chama, Mabala, Go, Rabdu, the Gosun, Kibachin, Chancellor Jepsu Chiu, Dad, Simjin, Hamjiji, Ju, Chinji Lab, Zedu, Sol. Pardon, Zavellama, Rimbo, Che, Dagi, Jurbim, Dejula, Gajin, Chimbugone, Jezonde, Gosun, Tuji, Mujupsadu, Solu, Wana, Namkatan, and be Sintian, Tamjan, Namjan, Nana, Mabai, Yamunta, Zobe, Sanjay, Upana, Gobert, Cha, De Chidu, Talam, Tambe, Chisam, Chebala, Chinimbe, Kunota, Kunja, Nambrata, Sental, Tela, Kang, Sembrase, Chun, Semjin, Nipa, Sheba, Tiniji, Kurun, Chebe, Kasupa, De Whatever the correct time for you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever. So, uh, greeting for you. And uh, uh, I'm very happy to see you all, actually, after quite some time. And uh, uh, as uh, uh, I was requested by uh, Venerable uh, Anila, and also uh, all the Dharma centers, uh, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to uh, have this uh, uh, thing organized today. I don't know what you call this. Uh, I used to call this uh, online, but then now there's a new name. Focus or something, something. Now I forgot. You no, know? you call this something. Uh, what? A zoom, zoom, a zoom. So uh, I almost got it right. Focus, zoom. Yes. So uh, I'm very happy to manage this. Okay. Now get to the point. Uh, power of mind okay we have a body we have our uh, uh, speech voice language but without mind body is very scary and uh, body without mind make a voice, noise, it will be very scary, okay? So body with mind, uh, uh, move, uh, express, you know, talk, then it is wonderful. We can communicate with each other. Uh, we are not afraid of each other. Body without mind, talk, and the move, we will be really scared when we cannot communicate. We have to run away or do something. Uh, so uh, that way we have to recognize what is body, what is speech, what is mind. So when I talk like this, then uh, I think you get it right away. Okay. Now, Power of mind is what really we have. 
our body is really, 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 really inferior material. You know, if you jump down the height of your body, unless you have many months and years of training, it will be very difficult to get up and walk away. You know, something will be twisted or something will be broken. Okay? And uh, to jump up half height of your body is very difficult. Unless you are chased by a lion, then you can jump. Yes, special strength. You just get miraculously that is because of your mind, you know. Your mind is so scared, so that it gives your body the strength to jump, maybe the height of your body up. Yes. So this way, mind is uh, the most essential aspect of what we call I. Uh, each one of you have a name. But that name is given to your body. And when, when your body uh, is no more breathing, then they will say that such and such person is dead. And then, uh, and then uh, that body will be buried somewhere and they carve that name on the stone. And then they will, they will put your name up there. Your mind, most important, uh, uh, have no name, you know, no name. And uh, your mind continues, came from the past, goes into the future. And presently, it is changing day to day. Some days, when we are stressed, our body doesn't function very well. You know, when you are really stressed, somebody asks you to draw a real nice circle on a clean paper. You cannot. You will draw a circle which looks like a pizza made by a, a cook uh, for a train, training. So not even a circle. Uh, but uh, when your mind is uh, 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 in uh, 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 correct state, calm, then you can draw a circle very easy. Who cannot draw a circle? You know, so like this. So mind is the most important thing. Now coming back to the present crisis, I call this crisis. Uh, it can be epidemic, it can be a pandemic, it can be a war, it can be a famine, it can be anything, natural disaster, anything. So, so this uh, 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 very uh, difficult crisis time, time of crisis, time of tragedy, then uh, uh, way you think is very important. How you think. Okay. Everybody always say, I'm so busy, I can hardly be with my friend and family. Now, you manage to be with friend and family for months, you know, so this is good. Okay, and of course, uh, those people, those brothers and sisters who lost their loved ones, who have died, who are sick. So this is a, 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 a real a tragedy. Those who are living in quarantine, it is not a tragedy. If you know how to relate to it, this is a real quality time. You stay in one place. You know, you know, now this is Sunday. You know, 
this is Monday. You know, now the sun is rising. Now the sun is setting. You know, every part of your everyday environment, you are aware. For many people, maybe this is for the first time in so many years. So it is not a tragedy for these people. For me, it is one of the retreat. I do retreat for months. I have retreat, I have done retreat that last for a year. And this is just over three months. So not even a quarter of one of my long retreat. So for me personally, this is wonderful. And also I managed to uh, read certain text that I wanted to read in between my sessions. I read them from cover to cover for the first time in so many years. And uh, I managed to do such a good practice, satisfactory practice in so many, so many years. Although I do retreat, still some people show up. I don't see them, but I, I can feel their vibration. Of course, they're good people, so I feel the good vibration. But good vibration also disturbs my meditation vibration, you know. It is some kind of intrusion. Uh, and uh, and uh, I don't mean to be negative, but here, uh, nobody is coming here. No, no new uh, and uh, surprise uh, uh, vibration. So therefore, I'm with the same vibration for more than three months and uh, I feel good. That is my mind. My body, absolutely okay because my mind is okay. And uh, otherwise I'm not very healthy, healthy person as everybody knows. But because my mind is uh, uh, happy, then my body is also healthy much healthier, I think you can see, uh, much healthier uh, in this past uh, three, four months. And uh, so what I'm telling you is, all of you, those who are feeling very uncomfortable about this uh, uh, lockdown or quarantine or whatever you call it, uh, uh, take this as a, a positive opportunity to calm down, settle down, and be with your friend, be with your family, or read your favorite book from cover to cover, and uh, write something from beginning to end, clearly, so on and so forth. And also, now there is so many new uh, instruments you can call your uh, long lost friends and uh, have a nice wonderful get together conversation and uh, and uh, uh, make up for all those lost times with your friends and so many things you can do nowadays and those of you who are going to college and universities, lockdown should not uh, affect you because uh, uh, every telephone, uh, every uh, 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 iPad, every laptop is a library, is a university, is a, a entire uh, uh, knowledge bank so you can learn so many things just uh, sitting in your your room and uh, sipping your coffee or whatever and uh, uh, enjoy uh, learning 
and uh, it is uh, uh, not a bad time. It doesn't have to be a bad time. But it is only bad time for those who really uh, contract this disease. So we should have compassion for them and we should pray for them and we should do whatever we can uh, for them through whatever appropriate supports. And also I really admire the power of mind of those uh, 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 coronavirus warriors, you know, those doctors and nurses who go out uh, into the field and uh, work with the patients and uh, help them, uh, serve them, uh, uh, take care of them. Uh, so our prayers goes to them. Uh, they have the, they are practicing the power of the mind. Uh, we are at home and afraid. Uh, they are out there among the uh, uh, individuals who are already already uh, affected by the uh, sickness and uh, working with them. So that is very, very, very uh, inspiring for me. Uh, at the same time, when we say power of the mind, okay, now we think of human being. Our body is so, so insignificant. Our speech, our voice is so insignificant. You know, how much we scream, nobody will get scared and run away, you know? A lion, just, uh, uh, just uh, breathe hard, uh, we shiver, you know? So the power of speech that we have is uh, very inferior. And for me, in order to talk to you, I need loudspeakers and all kinds of things. And uh, right now, uh, I have to have all these kind of things. And uh, uh, then uh, uh, now, the power of uh, uh, mind that which we have, which is superior to all living creatures that we know. You know, from heaven to hell, we, the human being's mind, is most powerful. Yes. And uh, uh, we explained heaven. Uh, we discovered heaven. Uh, we explained hell. We discovered hell. Who did, who did discover the hell? Who did discover the heaven? It is human beings, right? So therefore, all the religions of this world who talk about Buddha, who talk about God, who talk about heaven, who talk about hell, everybody believes in it. All of that is of the human mind, by the human mind, for the human mind. It is not from anywhere else. And somebody heard something, yes, in a very mysterious way. But who is that? That is a, a human being. And uh, a human being heard some mysterious voice and then uh, a great message it was, and then it was delivered, then great faith it became. So all of that is the power of the mind. Yes. So therefore, we have the power of mind as our essence. Okay. Now, think of what our mind have done. Because it, it is so abundant around us, we don't even notice. Now, every one of us living in different part of the world in our house, you know, this so-called house is actually a replacement for cave. 
It is invented by human beings using the mind. And we all have home. I have nice home here, don't you think so? And you all have nice home over there. Wonderful. We be living in some hole in the earth that how our ancestors have been living a, a few hundred thousand years back. Uh, some of them even uh, maybe 20,000 years back, 10,000 years back. So this is power of mind. And we are able to see each other and talk to each other right now here. This is also created by the power of mind. Power of mind. And we send people to the moon not one time, not two times. And we've sent people to the moon so many times, we already got fed up and we don't send people to the moon anymore. And that is also power of mind. And we are sending our machines to the Mars and a far away planet, even to the sun. And it is power of the mind. And we control it here. You know, the little thing that is moving in the space so fast, uh, thousands of kilometers per second, and we are controlling it here on Earth. And that is power of the mind. Right now, we are using our body to control it, but definitely, definitely we can improve this, and we don't have to use our body, we just use our speech. We just command, and then uh, the, the machines will work. And then after that, we don't even have to use our speech, our mind, our thought will run our machines. So that is power of the mind. So it is like this. Mind is fantastic. Okay. Now I'm talking about mind is fantastic as a lay person, uh, as a scientific uh, way of thinking. Scientifically, I can say mind is fantastic. Uh, brain is fantastic, but dead body have a brain too, but that doesn't work. So brain with the mind is fantastic. So mind is fantastic, I can say that. But now, I as a Buddhist, then mind is limitless. Mind is primordially perfect. Mind is pure. Mind is ultimate. Uh, mind is uh, primordial, perfect, pure, limitless power, and power that will never be negative. Because when we say power, because we human beings got some small, small power. <clears throat> long, long time ago, we have power of a stick and stone. <clears throat> then we misused them. And after that, we developed a bronze axe and bronze uh, swords. We misused them. Then we used them. Then we made steel arms and swords and so on and so forth. We misused them. Then we developed uh, all kind of weaponry, and which is uh, uh, improving uh, the um, uh, uh, devastation capacity by the day, even today, up to today. And we are misusing it. We are misusing it. We are misusing our mind. Uh, we should be, if we are able to make something to kill thousands of people 
in a split second, how can we not create something that cure the thousands of people in a split second? How come? You know, you know because we misused it. Right now, we have weapons to kill, uh, destroy this earth 10 times, 100 times. But we don't have medicine to cure this uh, uh, flu. You know, the coronavirus is nothing more than a flu, but it is a, a new flu. Uh, why it is new? Because we don't use our brain, we don't use our mind, we don't look ahead, we are busy making bombs, therefore we don't know coronavirus exists. I am sure, I'm not a scientist, you know that. I'm not a doctor, you know that. I am a human being with common sense of my level. You know, my level is not very high, but not very low. Far away from any kind of enlightenment, far, far away. But, but I can say with the full confidence that coronavirus has to be there for thousands of years. It cannot just appear out of nowhere. It always has been there, but we were not looking. Therefore, we couldn't find it. But we are looking how to make a big weapon to kill everybody. Therefore, we found all those ways. Now, when we uh, 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 encountered with this kind of uh, Mm, uh, 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 pandemics, then we panic because uh, this little virus, our naked eye can't even see it and we don't know how to deal with it. We don't even know what it is. We don't even know where it comes from. Of course, we, can, we know where it originated uh, 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 as the first patient so on and so forth. But besides that, we really don't know. Uh, we just know maybe 1%, 2%, 5% of what it is and where it come from. Other than that, we don't know. <clears throat> so how come? How come? Because we are not using our power of our mind. Okay? So, uh, I uh, wanted to let you know that I respect every single 7 billion human being as the future Buddha. 7 billion future Buddha is there. Yes. But most of the future Buddha is asleep. You know? Or, or uh, uh, most of the seven billion future Buddha is not using their power of the mind in the right direction. Okay? And uh, uh, I cannot uh, talk about this excluding me because I also did not use uh, my power of mind efficiently. Because of that, uh, I am not in very good health. I had to go through huge, uh, uh, you know, a surgery. Uh, and uh, so, so that is uh, proof uh, of not using the power of mind. If I have used the power of mind, uh, then uh, uh, I will uh, eat properly. I will do proper exercise. Uh, I, will, uh, uh, I will do those things uh, properly so I will not get sick in the first place. I don't have to go through uh, a triple bypass surgery. You know, 
So that is because of I did not use my power of mind efficiently. Yes, I admit. So uh, now the every now I can say everybody who did not use their power of mind uh, efficiently, then they don't even know such a thing as a coronavirus exists. And uh, therefore, they don't even know uh, how to treat the coronavirus patients. And uh, they don't even know uh, how to make a vaccination and uh, so on and so forth. And we call ourselves, we are very advanced and uh, technologically advanced. We are in the 21st century. I know that and uh, I respect that, but the, at the same time, it is a little bit, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, ingenious. Uh, I don't feel genuine uh, to say it from my heart because we are in 21st century and we don't even know what is coronavirus? And uh, we know how to go to the moon, how to send a mission to the Mars, but we don't know the coronavirus. I think uh, this is a little bit uh, embarrassing as a, a member of uh, a 21st century human being. Actually, I'm not 21st century human being. I am left over from the 20th century. You know, Here's and uh, uh, yes, I'm left over from the 20th century and still hanging on in 21st century. And uh, so, uh, so this way, uh, power of mind is uh, very, very, very precious, and we should know and we should be convinced we have it. If we don't know that we have it, then it is as bad as we don't have it. So we have to know we have it. Uh, we have a legend. We say there is a great serpent. That serpent have a wish fulfilling gem on its crown. But uh, you know, unless you have a crown that you can take off and then put on, if you have a crown that is there all the time, then you wouldn't know it is there. You know, you wouldn't even know it is a crown. You think uh, you, you have uh, two the head, you know, so pointed head, mm, you might not like it, but that is wish fulfilling gem. And uh, so, so uh, it is like that. We have wish fulfilling gem on our crown all the time, but we don't know we have it. So now I hope few of you who are listening, few of you, uh, out of which few of you believe me, uh, and uh, then uh, uh, you don't have to uh, believe me blindly, you just relax and calm down because coronavirus help you to do that. So you calm down, and sit down and relax and see what is there deep inside you. You are more than your flesh, blood and bone and skin body. You are more than that. You are more than your speech. You are more than how you look. Some of you think you look very beautiful, some of you think you look very powerful. Some of you think, uh, think you doesn't look that good. Uh, so that is all your perception of your mind. But deep inside, go beyond all of that and look deep inside, then you find something that is deeper than the ocean, wider than the space, brighter than the sun more stable than the entire universe that goes on and on and on and on, cannot be shaken by anything. 
And uh, so when you find that, you know that's what you are. And uh, now this time, although it is quite uh, uh, painful for so many people, and especially uh, hundreds of thousands who have died and millions who are sick, very painful. And uh, then also the business community uh, who, uh, whose uh, uh, productivity is uh, really affected by this pandemic. For them, it's very painful. I respect that. But let this be meaningful. Don't make this uh, go in vain. Uh, don't waste it. Make it meaningful. So learn from it. And uh, you felt, oh my goodness, every day I'm losing billions of dollars. Oh my goodness, uh, I might get sick. Oh my goodness, uh, I wanted, I used to go to that pub every Saturday, but I didn't go there for so many Saturdays and I miss it. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, you know, I used to see my friend so many times, my children, but everyone is in different places. I miss them. So, so this is caused by one, one invisible, you cannot see with naked eye, invisible virus. So this way you look at the, uh, your uh, at potential of your mind. Okay, now, one thing I can tell you is if you calm down, if you calm down, if you calm down physically by orally calm down, don't talk too much and actually take the vow of silence for one hour. The verbal silence. Then try to sit still for long as possible. For some people, five minutes. For some people, one hour, for some people, three, four hours. It depends on how much you are used to doing meditation. And then when your speech, the breathing, uh, the, the uh, body activity, uh, silence and calm down, then your mind and your mind calm down. When we meditate, many times people think we're not supposed to think. That is very, very strange because saying that now I wanted to meditate, that is thinking. So if you don't think, how do you start? You, know, you have to think, but you don't think nonsense you know you stop thinking nonsense what you're supposed to think you think so when you calm down and sit down and you relax you have to think now i have to relax now i feel relaxed now my shoulders are relaxed now my spine is relaxed now my jaw relax now my eye relax, and when everything relax, then my brain relax. You know, brain is not mind, but mind functions through everything, but it is the headquarter of the mind that is the brain. Brain is the center of the 
uh, the, the mind. So through there, the mind functions. And we have uh, in Tantric Buddhism, Nirmanadi, the top of the Nirmanadi, at the top of the crown. That's where the brain is, you know? And so that is, last thing is relax your brain. And when you are able to relax your brain, then everything that is connected to your brain become relaxed. All of you, the most of you, 99% of the individuals who are listening today to me and watching me are uh, uh, educated people. Educated means uh, modern educated people. <clears throat> so you believe in science. So, so uh, uh, when you are able to relax your brain, don't you think it will affect your eye, your ear, your lung, your heart, your liver, your guts, every nerve, every aspect of the neurological system, everything, will it affect or not? It will. It will. So, last thing is you relax your brain. And then you feel calm. Now, after that, then your mind is relaxed. Because your mind is agitated and your mind is confused because of your body, speech, and brain habits and you, de you develop all kinds of habits. I know people who smoke cigarettes and when they don't have their cigarette they become very nervous and almost dysfunctional. And those who take alcohol, when they don't have their alcohol, they become dysfunctional. Those who take drugs, when they don't have their drugs, they become dysfunctional. And then that is one level. This everybody, almost everybody recognize. These are the wrong things. But millions and millions of people involved in those things. And they think this is the right thing, I guess. And then next thing is power. People who used to have so much power. And people used to have so much money. And these people, when they feel their power is shaken, they feel very uncomfortable. When they feel, and not only feel, they can see their uh, bank balance is really, really rolling very, very fast like slot machine, you know? The numbers are running very, very fast. Uh, I don't mean adding more zeros, but adding more numbers and less zeros. Then, then, then they feel uncomfortable. And uh, so this is pretty much the same thing. Uh, how uh, uh, other people who involved in bad things like drinking, drugs, affected, uh, then, and also those others who have uh, addiction to or used to power and their wealth, 
get addicted or, or affected. Uh, how it affects is pretty much the same. With due respect for everyone, what I'm coming down to the point here is it's all mind. We have a saying. If a person whose mind is complete, he is the richest person. So how can you have a complete sense of mind that is contentment? If you are content, you are rich. If you are not content, no matter how much you have, you are not rich. Now the power. It is security. There's many things, but one of the very important factor is security. Money and power both. So when you feel secure, then you are very powerful. You feel secure. No matter who says what, everybody respect you or nobody respect you, doesn't matter. You're at peace because you feel secure. There is a prayer in Vajrasattva Tantra. It says, samsara, which is non-existent, and it is illusion. Therefore, I have no fear to live in it, to help all the countless mother sentient beings who live in it with fear, to help them. It is like there is a ongoing horror movie that goes on for a hundred years. And uh, uh, the, the uh, image is showing on every mountain, every field, everywhere. And everyone is scared and screaming and running. But you know it is just a movie. It, you know it is just a cinematography. So you are happy to sit there and be in that movie for one year. That goes on for one year, then you, you are happy to be there for one year to tell everyone this is a movie. This actor I know, he is a very good man. He don't kill people, he don't eat people. So, so he is my, my friend, he's even a vegetarian. And uh, uh, things like that, you know, but to say these things and help these people. I don't mind to live among these scared people and uh, walk around uh, for one year until the end of the movie, because I know it is illusion. So the, the Vajrasattva Tantra is very deep. It is not as simple as that. But what it is saying is, samsara is illusion. Every aspect of suffering in samsara is an illusion. But a serious illusion. It is a result of one's own karma. So if you have thrown up a rock, a rock will fall on your head. If you thrown up a flower, a flower will fall on your head. You know, if you throw up a bucket of red paint, red paint will fall on your head. If you throw up a bucket of clean water, clean water will fall down on your head. Like this, it is karma. But it is nothing more than that, nothing less than that. So it is an illusion. It is a, a illusion created by, by oneself. Therefore, therefore, I am happy to be among 
everyone who don't know it is an illusion and take it for real and scared to death. I wanted to help them and I wanted to remain with them. I, I have no fear to remain with them because I know it is illusion, not because I am brave. Well, you know, because I know it is illusion. So, so this is coming from uh, 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 Vajrasattva uh, Tantra, a part of a particular, uh, actually, practice. Kurva dame jume rajan la dani jipa jiyang manjite marik jiwa namji dhen le tu chin thang tu ke pardu ne pardu so these are the four lines which describes this particular uh, point. So this is the power of the mind. And uh, now uh, all of you, all of you, uh, all of you have so many problems, I know. And some of you take your problems very seriously. Some of you don't take your problems seriously. And some of you uh, think uh, it is a problem, but actually it is a good thing, but you think it is a problem. Then even good things become a problem. <clears throat> so, so this way, uh, now all of you, if you really look at everything, then you get the assurance that your mind cannot be affected by anything. If you calm down, then most of the confusion and uh, 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 your, your anxiety is gone. If you calm down, it is gone then there is quite a few things that doesn't go away even you are calm then with calm state of mind you know how to deal with them if you are hysterical you cannot deal with anything if you are calm you can deal with things you have greater capacity to deal with things when you are calm so that is uh, one part of the power of mind. Okay. Now, as a Buddhist, we know that on this earth, uh, four individuals reach Buddhahood. Uh, millions reach enlightenment but four reach Buddhahood. And uh, now these four Buddha, uh, our Buddha Shakyamuni is uh, number four. So before that, in Tibetan language, Sanji Vesum, before that, I think in Sanskrit it's a Dipankar, I think. Before that, it is Sertu. Before that, it is Kurwanji. Okay. Now, each one of them are just a human being like us, just a sentient being like us, thousands of eons in the past. So how did the first Buddha on this planet Earth started his journey? Okay. So he saw other people who are tormented and who are in fear. He protected them. And he saw an enlightened Buddha 
who is able to protect those beings who are in fear. And he took a vow, may I become like you in order to protect all of those who are in fear, oppressed and fearful. Then that is his bodhicitta. After many eons of practice, he became the first Buddha on this planet Earth. That is many million years back, but uh, a rough calculation according to uh, quite few texts. It is uh, eight million years ago. So, so the first Buddha. And then uh, second Buddha, Sertup. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, he, um, uh, he took, uh, uh, he took uh, 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 hard work, hard work as his part. So he saw a Buddha of that time who took everybody's burden onto himself and he suffered on their behalf. And so on that way, he is helping so many beings. So he got so inspired. So then he took vow may I reach enlightenment like you, so that I will be able to take everybody's pain and suffering onto myself and help them all reach liberation. Make them all free from their pain and suffering. Then after many eons of practice, he reached Buddhahood. So that is Sertu. Now the Dipankar, Vishnu. So now this is that 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 enlightenment of the second Buddha is about uh, uh, six million years ago, around. And then uh, uh, Dipankar. So he saw an enlightened Buddha who has so much tolerance. So he tolerated anything, all the abuse, everything. So that all the abusers become so blessed and inspired. So that they become liberated from their neurosis because who will abuse other people are very neurotic people and very unevolved people, very ignorant people, very ignorant sentient being. So he took that upon himself to let them know that this is stupid. And that way, he made them attend Buddhahood. And then now, this Buddha Dipankar, he took the bodhicitta, saying that, may I become like this Buddha, to take everybody's negativity, and abuse so that make them wake up and uh, 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 I have heard uh, uh, lots of stories from the West uh, uh, 
so, so many uh, great people uh, in the West. Uh, Some time back, they were uh, very powerful abusers and uh, slave traders, traders, and all kinds of people like that. And uh, all of a sudden, they realize how terrible it is. And then uh, they even written songs, and they even, uh, uh, you know, gave up everything and uh, start their positive journey uh, out of it. So this kind of thing can happen. So that is, uh, uh, so after taking that, that uh, bodhicitta, then Dipankar reached Buddhahood. That is about two million years ago. And uh, now uh, Buddha Shakyamuni, uh, he have seen a Buddha who is walking in the street with nothing, absolutely nothing. And everybody is making offering for him and he only take what he can eat. And that's all. So he was so inspired and all those people who managed to offer a food and get this connection, they all become transformed and liberated. Then he was a beggar. Buddha Shakyamuni was a beggar at that time. And he just got a bowl of food, something that he can eat. So he was so inspired. He offered that food to that Buddha. And he said from his heart, may I become like you to help all mother sentient beings just like you do. That is generosity. So then after many, many years, then he was born as a prince Dart and attained Buddhahood under the Bodhi tree in Bodh Gaya, India, 2,600 years back. So, you see, all of these great enlightened ones, all of these four Buddhas of uh, our planet, of our eon, each one of them started with one aspect of human activity and transformed through the positive aspect of that. But all of that involved the power of mind. May I become like that one who liberates everyone through that particular activity, that particular practice. And then that is bodhicitta. No sentient being is in, excluded. So all of the Buddhas will continue until the last sentient being reach the Buddhahood. Doesn't matter how long it will take. It can take billions and billions and billions of eons. It's okay. Because uh, as the Vajrasattva texts say, no, after all, it's all illusion. So, so, so like this. And this shows the power of mind of each one of these four individuals who became four of the Buddha of our eon on this planet Earth. And there will be a thousand Buddha on this planet Earth. So out of them, these are the four. So now so many people, maybe this is a little difficult to swallow, the numbers and times and all of that. But uh, I think uh, you can if you want to, because each one of you wear a watch or each one of you carry a mobile phone that have a watch in it and uh, dates and watch and second and minutes and everything on it. So I think uh, you can relate to it very well. And you don't want to, 
uh, that's another story, but, uh, but you, know, you know how to relate to it. So that is like this. It's all power of mind. Now, how then, if we all have that kind of power, our mind power is like this, then how come so many sentient beings are still suffering on earth? I must tell you, the sentient beings who are suffering on earth that we can see and we heard of a very small, tiny number. Human beings, we can count. It is less than 8 billion. You know, that is not count less. Less than 8 billion is very countable. Yeah. There is so many people on this earth who have more than 10 times of 8 billion dollars or 8 billion pounds or 8 billion rupees or 8 billion euros, you know? So easy to count. It's not difficult to count. So only 8 billion human beings on this earth, not countless. It is not uncomprehendable. We can comprehend. Then each mountain or each plain have that many creatures in a form of insects and rodents and so on and so forth. And then our body inside each one of us had how many beings in a form of all kind of uh, tiny micro life. Each one of us are like an entire mountain. So this way, it is not, not uncomprehendable. And now we think of this. Our planet Earth is one of the 100 million solar system of our galaxy. And our galaxy is just a one little dot in the greater space. And uh, it is all filled with sentient beings of all kinds. We cannot see, does not mean it's not there. I can prove it to you. We did not see coronavirus, but it is very much there. Now we are looking for it. And sometimes we can see it, sometimes we don't see it. And we can't even know what is the head of the coronavirus, what is tail of coronavirus, what is the, what is the, uh, the food of the coronavirus. We don't know. That's why we don't find the, the vaccine and medicine. No, there's so many, there's so many, countless. And uh, this is the, uh, this is what Buddha say, uh, uh, form is emptiness, emptiness is form, uh, form is none other than emptiness, emptiness is none other than form. So everything is happening relatively, nothing is happening ultimately, okay? So all of you uh, really uh, should appreciate and cherish the most powerful thing, which is your essence inside you, okay? Now, uh, last part. I leave the worst thing at the last part, okay? In this world, we had First World War, Second World War, very, very bad. So many human beings have died, and in a very, 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 very terrible way. Then in between so many things, even wars are happening right now. So many things are happening. And all of that is, 
the misuse of the power of mind. That is started from one mind. One person have started it. All the problems, big problems, started by one person. I don't have to talk about it. I don't have to research on it. The historians know it very well. All these great universities, they have hundreds and hundreds of very learned uh, noble historians, and they know how did everything start. If you really, really go back, it goes to one person's mind. And one person's mind, if it goes in the wrong way, what can happen? First World War happened. Second World War happened. And all the famines and wars and religious disharmony and ideological disharmony and racial disharmonies right now happening all started from the mind. Nothing grew up from the ground like a mushroom after a heavy rain and a strong sun. Not like that. It is all, all coming from the mind. Okay. Now, what kind of mind, what part of mind that is causing all of this? Very simple. Ultimate of mind is Buddha. Perfect. Even the worst person that you can think of, his or her ultimate essence is Buddha. Perfect. But not knowing that is what we call ignorance. So there's a synonym. Ignorance, ego, and self, and I, they are synonyms. They are different, different names for the same thing, different words to describe the same thing. So long as I call myself I, but right now I have to because it's a convenience sake, otherwise we can't communicate, no? But if I call myself I, very seriously and solidly and neurotically, then that is the ego, beginning of the ego, formation of the ego. It is an illusion. It's not there. When you look at your own eye, my friends, I don't mean to point my fingers at you, but this is a habit, you know, sorry, uh, like this, you know, please look at your own eye. Where is your I? Where is it? It is in your brain or it is in your heart or where is it? Or it is, is it in your tijori? Uh, I mean, tijori is Indian word. Uh, in your safe, you know, in your safe where you keep the money and the uh, important documents. You know, is it in your tijori? Where is it? Excuse me. So, so you cannot find it's not there. But then, when we don't don't do when you don't investigate, when we don't come down and look at it, it is there. Me, me, you know. Then, then you will say, I am so and so. Then, then others, uh, uh, when they wanted to get something from you. Uh, they they they, they uh, somehow uh, play game at you, and uh, they pretend to be afraid of you, uh, uh, this and that. Then you think they're really afraid of me, you know. Then you 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 uh, puff up your chest, and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, talk talk big, and then after some time, people really get scared of you, because then you will do scary things, you know. In the past, you know, in, in history, I heard that uh, some of these people chops people's head off. So if you have seen your colleague's head got chopped off, then you will be very careful. <clears throat> so, 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 so then it will not become just like a, 
you know, try to please somebody, it will really be out of fear. Then it becomes part of the habits. And then when these things, these things like that, then for this person, then, then he or she is something very, very special. Something very, very special coming from above, coming from below. It is representing this, representing that. And so therefore, <clears throat> therefore this person uh, becomes uh, so deluded. And then everybody supports that delusion from all directions. Then that delusion becomes so solid and so solid. Then there is a delusion uniform and delusion hat and a delusion, how do you say, uh, delusion this and delusion that, and so many things around, build around the delusion. So that person becomes like a, some sort of, uh, in uh, uh, theistic, uh, uh, yeah, a theistic, uh, the the theist religion, according to the theist religion, they look like a, some kind of God and they, they, they play God, then everybody listens to them. Then war starts. Then one war is won. Then a second war starts. And then that is won. The third war starts. And that is lost. Then everybody's ego is hurt. So then they will do their best to start the, start the fourth war and make sure that they win. And, uh, and they can because uh, others, uh, they manage to defeat them and they're a little bit relaxed. And then these ones who lost, they become so, 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 uh, so um, angry and uh, they come with the full force. Then, then they win like this. Then this, for all kinds of wars throughout the history, uh, everywhere. And the humans killing humans, and, uh, and no hesitation to uh, do anything to other fellow human beings, and all kind of things, tortures and killings and robbings and oh, whatnot. So all of this is coming from that uncontrolled, deluded mind. That is power of mind went wrong. But power of mind, real power of mind is positive, compassion, you know, uh, 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 real power of mind is compassion. Uh, uh, in in, in, uh, uh, in, in uh, so many of uh, uh, the Islamist Dalai Lama's teaching, he talked about compassion, right? So, Power of the human being's nature is compassion. We all can see it. We all can see it. And the nature of human being is compassion. Therefore, this kind of aggression, this kind of negative aspect of ego will not last. So all those big, big, big wars, they did not last. They fell apart at the end. You know, if you fight, 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 how many times you can win? You win one time, you win two times, then, then you use your right hand so many times to, to hit with the sword, then it becomes old, you know? But then all the muscles get torn and uh, then here and there you develop rheumatism and all kinds of things and after some time, your right hand will get chopped. And then that will be the beginning of the end of your war. You see, and that, uh, that is just an example. So you can, it cannot last. So at the end, it will, be, it will be for nothing. So many millions of people die for absolutely nothing. People still like to say they died for something great. And then still they want you to continue this kind of work wars and everything, but actually they died for nothing. They died for make more wars, which is not good. So uh, I'm not saying <clears throat> the world will have uh, an end of all of this. I'm not saying this, but individually, 
you and I, each one of us can have end of it. On this planet, four Buddha already reached the end of it. Each one of them liberated millions and millions of sentient beings to reach the end of it. Under Buddha Sakyamuni, starting from Lord Maitreya, Guru Padma Sambhava, so on and so forth, until now, uh, Milarepa, so on and so forth, hundreds and thousands, millions of individuals who reach the end of it, who reach the uh, absolute liberation. So, so that, that will happen in an individual level, as a group level. I don't want you to say unauspicious things, but it will take a long, long time, unimaginable long time for our calculation. Our calculation will break if we count how much time will it take for all sentient beings to reach Buddhahood. But it will happen, of course. Nothing is permanent. It will happen, but it will be very long time. But each one of us, we can help some number of people. A hundred, a thousand, a ten thousand, a million, a billion. Right now, Earth have less than eight billion people. If they're helped by one percent, would be very good. Each one of them become one percent more aware of their power of mind. And each one of them become 1% aware of the benefit of positiveness and compassion. You know, compassion is extremely important. Compassion is a natural thing. You see, a uh, uh, wolf whose uh, diet is absolute meat and uh, uh, but wolf will never eat its own baby rather starve and it will feed the baby with its own food even it is starving so that is compassion compassion is nature we are nurtured by our parents when we are helpless and hopeless, and we are uh, actually based on compassion. We survive with compassion. If there's no compassion, we don't survive. We don't survive by aggression. If, if large percentage of people and sentient beings around us are aggressive, we will not survive. It will be like a zombie apocalypse, you know? So it will be like that. If all around are not, compassion, not, not compassionate. But more people around are compassionate, we, we thrive, we survive. We will be prosperous, we will be very happy. The world should be a compassionate world. And uh, then people who are not compassionate should be minority so that the majority can influence them and help them to become more compassionate. That is the power of the mind. Okay, so all the best for all of you, all my friends. I did not code from the sacred text of Buddha or sacred text of great masters because uh, I wanted to talk to you directly. Having said that, everything that I have said it is actually, whether I quote or not, it is the essence of those teachings that I have received. So it is from there. It is the teachings of my gurus, it is the teachings of the Buddha. It is all the great texts which I have learned. It is coming from that. And uh, you are perfect. You are the future Buddha. 
I put my hands together for you because I see your ultimate as future Buddha. But each of you have some work to do. Some of you have a little bit of ego. Some of you have a little bit of greed. Some of you have a little bit of jealousy. Some of you have a little bit of unnecessary rubbish going on. So you have to handle that. Okay? All the best. And uh, so Buddha bless you. Buddha bless your body, Buddha bless your speech, and on top of everything, Buddha bless your mind. How to Buddha bless your mind is Buddha is living inside you. You are the temple of Buddha. So Buddha inside is right now sleeping. So I pray that Buddha wake up and then shine through you. Okay, and function through your activities. All right. I think time is up. You took the tips. Mouse on it. I, I talked a little bit too long, but I think uh, uh, I think I meant well. And I hope uh, all of you got something. And uh, uh, I am okay here. My teacher is now 99 years old. He's okay here. And uh, I know that all of you are okay there. So uh, don't get carried away. Just relax. Stay at home. Don't do unnecessary things. Don't run around unnecessarily and uh, keep social distancing and also eat healthy food and uh, don't do unnecessary things so that you will be strong and uh, you will be okay. We have to be here on this earth to help all sentient beings. And uh, uh, I am quite sure this pandemic might repeat in the winter. So we have to be very careful to uh, get used to how to handle with uh, this uh, situation. And uh, I pray, and we all should pray that our dear doctors, uh, they will find, and scientists, they will find vaccine for it. They will, definitely. They should find it before the winter. Uh, if not, before the next winter, okay? So uh, if it goes on for too many years, I think we, we, might, we might break down. So uh, before the next winter, the vaccine should be there and then some sort of cure should be there. Uh, and uh, I am sure one thing that they will find is the immune building system to protect us from getting this kind of virus, not vaccine, but so more difficult for us to get these things. Right now, because of the lack of knowledge, lack of familiarity, we are very vulnerable. We have, we have to wear our hand gloves, we have to wear our goggle, we have to wear our mask. So these things are inconvenient, but we have to bear this. And uh, I hope they at least find something that we can take, that we don't have to do those things. But then vaccine will be the answer. But I don't want to be negative, but I tell you, in advance, my friends, don't get too excited if we have the vaccine. Something else will come because uh, there's so many things we don't know. So many things. Now, uh, now we, 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 are, we are quite thick-headed, you know. 
Uh, we got this, uh, so many pandemics in the past, one after another, and so many people died. We still don't learn. We have, uh, we have uh, Ebola, we have SARS, we have uh, MERS, uh, now we have uh, uh, Corona, and uh, then we have uh, AIDS. Still we have uh, no vaccine for it. So all kinds of things, you know, uh, there will be so many more things coming. Uh, it is not coming, we are discovering. It is a sign of our, uh, our uh, uh, let's say, development, our progress. Uh, we recognize them. And uh, so then, then, then we will handle them one by one. So uh, I want all of you to be very careful with everything. And especially, uh, uh, don't eat things that are not edible, okay? All the best, okay. Let us dedicate the merit of this teaching for the benefit of all sentient beings. So all the translators, thank you very much for bearing with me. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, uh, making connection between me and everyone. Otherwise, I will be talking to myself. So your translation is very important. And all the organizers, thank you for putting us together. It is good for me to share what I have and uh, good for you to listen to what I have to say because uh, this is coming from my gurus, coming from Lord Buddha's teachings, from sincere heart. So thank you for everything. And uh, then, uh, above all, live long life, long meaningful life, and uh, uh, be uh, the good human being to make this world a better place. For that we dedicate. Jaganaja Balab Trupa Ye Sibya Sol Drova Dor Show and Jambalapa Chitra Chamba Kundu Zango Deyan Dijin Da Kunji Jesu Dalo Yawa Dida Anji Rabdu Mo Sanji Kusum Nibi Slap Tan Chini Minjuru Dembe Slap Gendim Chin Dimbe Slapti Chitap Moa Malam Drupal Shu. I have two words to say after the dedication. Yeah. Okay. If you have uh, your fingernail too long, don't cut your finger. Cut your fingernail. That is your ego. Okay. Don't cut your self-esteem, cut your ego, okay? And uh, also, you know, uh, one finger to wipe your tear is greater than a million hand that claps for you, okay? So, I hope you understand what I mean. All the best. <laughs>